Hi everyone! Welcome to the Jacob Hexa channel and my first official video. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial for Orochi Maru from Naruto. I'm really hoping you guys enjoy it. I'm excited to share this with everyone, so let's get into it. I've already blocked my eyebrows out off camera. I assume there are plenty of tutorials for this already, but if you'd like to see me do one, let me know in the comment section down below. I didn't realize I hadn't started recording, but you're going to go ahead and take your white face paint and apply it all over your face. I'm using a water activated paint by Mayron. If you're using a water activated paint, avoid applying it to your eyelids and lips. This is me realizing how creepy I look. <laughs> And this is me realizing how yellow my teeth look. <laughs> and this is me realizing that the patchiness isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Go ahead and take your NYX eyeliner in milk and apply it around your eyelids and lips. I'm using just a regular eyeshadow brush to blend it out. I also decided to apply it to the high points of my face in order to get a smoother, more highlighted looking appearance on my face. I've decided to go in with that same flat foundation brush I used for the face paint on these parts. Any place that you've used the eyeliner, be sure to powder it with a translucent or white powder. If you're wondering when it's going to start looking good, it's right about here. So we're going to take a light gray shadow from our Morphe 35C palette or any gray shadow that you have and start to contour your cheeks. You're going for that sunken in look. Don't forget to contour that big ass forehead too. And right here is about where you go from double chin to snatched. <laughs> Alright, and don't forget to deepen the contour with a darker gray as well. Contour your nose around the nose bridge so you get that slender nose look as well. And be sure to take uh, gray shadows and lengthen the length of your mouth so you have that snake-like, creepy, villainous mouth. Blend it in with the inner part of your bottom lip to make it look natural. I'm going to take a darker gray and apply it into um, the inner eye areas to give you that furrowed, villainous brow. I'm really liking it so far. Now we're going to go ahead and take a purple shadow and trace out Orochimaru's little purple eyeliner look. It's important to trace it out with eyeshadow first because it's easier to erase than an eyeliner. Alright, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our NYX Vivid Brights in Violet, I believe. I'll have it down in the description box below if I'm wrong. <laughs> and go ahead and fill in that outline. If you make any mistakes, you can go ahead and use your NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as a sort of concealer of sorts. Now we're going to go ahead and use a black eyeliner on our lash line. We're going to tight line our upper lash line and also get into our waterline. It's important to do these, this step to give your face 
or your eyes rather, that definition against the white skin that you've just given yourself. We don't want too much of a de um, defined dramatic eyeliner because we've already got the purple. You can see I'm really feeling it, but then I realize I haven't even put the eyebrows on. <laughs> Go ahead and use the same eyeliner you use. I'm using a gel eyeliner by Maybelline in black. I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, that's about it. This is the look. I'm really liking it. I think it looks great. I'm going to go throw on a wig, the costume, and some contacts. This is it. Sorry guys. I did have some green contacts that were snake-like, but they were hurting my eyes, so sorry. Well, this is it. I think it looks great. Tell me what you guys think below. I really enjoyed it. I love this character. I think he's really cool. I usually like the villains because I'm a psycho. And yeah. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Have any comments, questions, concerns, requests, leave them in the comment section below. Jane.